Hi my dear friends and welcome back to Plants and Lucia. My name is Lucia and today we talk about spider mites. <laughs> okay, coming up! Whether you're coming back or this is your first time in this channel, thank you so much for watching this video. This channel is all about houseplants, so if you want to learn how to take care of them, how to display them, or even how to connect with them, make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every Tuesday and Thursday and talk about plants! But now, let's get to the video. So how do we know if we have spider mites? That's a very good question. And there are actually some symptoms that we can look for in order to know if we have spider mites or not in our plants. In this video, I will share five symptoms with you. Number one, yellowing of the leaves. So depending on your plant, the yellowing of the leaves may mean something else. For example, overwatering your plant or the fact that the water in your place is very hard. For instance, in Berlin, the water is really hard for my plants. I know that for my calatheas, the water is really hard. So if I don't filter it, the leaves of my calathea will become yellow. However, this can also be a sign that you have spider mites in your plant. So in order to be sure, let's look at number two. If you have spider mites in your plant, you may also have silver spots on the leaves. So check out for those. Number three, brown or yellow tips. Again, the browning or the yellowing of the leaves may mean something else. For example, for some plants, the browning of the tips of their leaves means that the air may be a little bit too dry for them. This is the case, for example, with a peace lily or any other tropical plant that needs more humidity than what we are providing for them. But of course, it can also be a sign of spider mites. Number four, tiny spider webs on the leaves. This is a very clear sign that you may have a spider mite infestation in your plant. Because these ones, of course, are the spider mites webs. And number five, red dots on the back of the leaf. These may be the actual spider mites. If you touch them, they will move. So, if you see some of the symptoms on your plant, this may mean that you have a spider mite problem. But not to worry, there is hope and we can get rid of them. So let's talk about that as soon as possible. The number one thing to do is to shower your plant using high pressure water. This is to get rid of as many bugs as possible. So really spray the leaves with high pressure water. Spider mites hate humidity. So the next thing to do is to put your plant in a humid place. You can either increase the humidity levels by spraying or misting your plant throughout the day or you can put her close to a humidifier. You increase the humidity around the plant and the spider mites won't be happy there. After that, you can clean the leaves of your plant with a mix of horticultural soap and neem oil or you can use castile soap with water. This would be one liter of water with one tablespoon of castile soap. This will help get rid of the bugs on the leaves. Now, another very good advice that I can give you is considering getting Predator good bugs, specifically green lace wings. On top of the other things such as increasing humidity, cleaning the leaves, this box will really help you get rid of the spider mites. And it's a very natural way to really get rid of them. So you don't use any insecticides or anything like that at home. So try to repeat this for about four to five weeks until you see that your plant is healthy and free of spider mites. Okay my friends, if you know any other tips to get rid of spider mites, please make sure to comment below because I can tell you I will be very grateful for that and all of the other people in the community will really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching and if you're new and would like to be part of this community, you're always welcome my friend. So make sure to subscribe so we can see each other every Tuesday and Thursday and talk about plants. So I hope these tips help you to get rid of the spider mites and let me know how it goes. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye! <laughs>